Alrighty. What's up, everybody? Peter Gilmore here on this uh, Saturday night here on the Peter Gilmore YouTube Wrestling Channel. Uh, just want to just make sure you like the video and subscribe. You know what to do. Um, not gonna make this too quick. Um, SummerSlam still on the air. Um, it's, it's and, but you know we had um RK Bro won the Raw Tag Team Titles. Obviously that was gonna happen. Uh, Lexa Bliss beat beat that bitch Eve Marie thanks to Dewdrop. Dewdrop. Um, the Usos retain over the Mysterios. Uh, uh, Damian Priest is your new United States champion as he beat Sheamus. But the big story, as the title below says, uh, Bianca Belair was supposed to face Sasha Banks, but Sasha um, did not make it there. Um, they pulled her. The match was going to happen. Um, the speculation is, like I said, like I mentioned, I've been mentioning last couple of videos, Sasha might have COVID, even though she made some comment, um, anti-vaccine comments, so they might have suspended her or something like that. That's what I'm hearing in, um, Joe Cronin's chat and everything. Um, but the big news is, as the title below says, THE MAN, Becky Lynch, returned to SummerSlam and... Faced Bianca Belair for the SmackDown Women's title and beat her in like five seconds. That wasn't even a long match. She just comes in, hits like a body slam. One, two, three, she wins. What a waste of that was. What a waste of that match was, man. Good lord. I'd hate to be Bianca Belair right now. I'm like, I, I you know, I lost the title to for this? Like in like in like a minute or two? It feels like WrestleMania 9. You know, when, um, when, um, Yokozuna beat Bret Hart for the, uh, the belt. No, what, no, bef not, what's, um, yeah, I think, I forget. Yokozuna had the belt, and then he beat Bret Hart, I think, and then, um, Hogan came out, and then he beat, he beat Yokozuna in, like, 15 seconds to win the belt. It, it just feels like WrestleMania 9 all over again, but now it's with the women, you know, it is what it is, and, um, yeah, but congratulations to Becky Lynch. She's a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion now. Um, actually, no, three-time SmackDown Women's Champion because she had it for the first time, and then she lost to Alexa Bliss, and then she won, won it back, and then held the Raw, ta the Raw Women's title, and then, um, that blah, 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 we all know what happened there. Now she's a, th I believe, a three-time SmackDown Women's Champion, the fans went nuts for her. It wasn't a really a big pop like CM Punk was. But yeah, they rushed Sa they rushed Becky back because Sasha either made some really stupid comments or got COVID. So we still don't know what happened with Sasha. So it is what it, <coughs> it is what it is. And um That's that. Um And um we'll see what happens. Um with the rest of SummerSlam, it's 9.47 right now um, as I'm doing this video. So, I think uh, I think we got about another, a couple more matches left. And then I think uh, it'll probably be over by 11 o'clock, close to about 10.30, 11 o'clock. So, that's that. So, after, um, after that, I will be going live on this channel just for a little bit, not too long, just to give you um, more insight, more analysis of... Uh, Summer scam, summer sham, summer, summer blam, summer who gives a shit. And that's all I gotta say about that. But mainly just wanted to sit, come out, come on here and say Becky Lynch is back in the WWE and she wins the SmackDown Women's title from Bianca Belair in about 10, 15 seconds. Not even that long match. It's WrestleMania 9 all over again, ladies and gentlemen. But... Yep, at least Becky's back to uh, kind of invigorate the women's division. I don't know if she'd be on SmackDown or on Raw at this point. I would think SmackDown. Really, I think she just she should really go back to Raw and just like go after the Raw title now because Charlotte's about to probably win it tonight. Um, so maybe she can win back the belts that you know. Well, really win back the Raw championship she never lost because she you know dro she uh. You know, because she got pregnant, and she gave the belt to Oscar, who won the Money in the Bank last year. 
But now she's back and um looks like she's gonna be going to SmackDown. So now uh, SmackDown's gonna have a mean roster with uh Becky, Bianca, Carmella, uh, Selena Vega, and um now Becky. And Raw's gonna have recently Horseface Charlotte, Rhea Ripley, and Nikki Ashhold as uh, the main women on that roster. So and oh you got Eve Marie and Alexa Bliss and Duke Trap. I mean, that's it. And Tamina and Natalia go on both shows. Shotzi and um Tegan are in on SmackDown too. Dana Brooks still in catering. Aliyah still in catering. It is what it is. The women's roster sucks right now. On um in the WWE. It's, it just fucking sucks. Um so it looks like um right now uh, it's it's uh from what I'm I'm reading up Joe Cronin's chat um Ginger my balls is uh facing Drew McIntyre I think that matches up now I don't care I don't care I don't care about SummerSlam I don't I'm not even watching it I don't even have it on in my other room I'm just getting updates on my phone and on Instagram that's it but I'll give you my review and um. About an hour and a half or so, and um, not gonna be a good good review. Probably gonna be quicker than um, you know the Bianca Belair Sasha Banks match, or quicker than um, you know who can. Uh, <clears throat> but that's all I gotta say about that. So that's it. I'll see you guys a little bit later. Peter Gunn was signing off. Becky Lynch is back, and nobody gave a fuck. Peace.